After reading the title and thumbnail of this video, most TV users may think that I'm talking about hiding contents from mobile or tablet device and show it on desktop. I mean the visibility settings. Did you think that as well? Others may have guessed that I'm talking about hiding contents from all viewports, be it mobile, tablet or desktop and then reveal them on click of a button magic if you are one of those people who guess this then you are absolutely correct except that it's not magic it's css and javascript science now don't get intimidated i'm not here to scare away the non techies you will get step by step instructions on where to not only copy paste the codes but also how to tweak the code if you want to hide and reveal multiple contents in a page now before we start we need a regular section and a row we already have a section and we will add a row now we will add three modules the first module should be a code module in the admin text write code The second module should be a button module. To make it easy, go to wireframe mode. Again, in the admin text, write button. All right, for the third module, it can be anything you want. It can be an image, a contact form, or anything you desire it to be in our example we will show both an image and a contact form we are showing two examples to show that it works for any module we don't want to keep you guessing well there's another reason for us to show two examples we want to show you how you can tweak the codes to hide and reveal multiple contents in a page so let's add the third module and in our first example we will add an image now it's the code time so there is a code involved which has a css part and a javascript part the code will be in this block which you can copy directly and paste it directly make sure to copy the code from here then come to the code settings and paste the code just like that now go to the button settings then click on advanced tab here you will add a css class for the first example of the image we will add rv button closed again this is something which you can copy from the blog post Now go to the content settings. In this example, it's an image. So we'll go to the image settings, then on advanced tab. And here we will add a CSS ID and we will here write reveal. Again, this is something you can copy from the blog post. Now for the button link, go to the button settings. To the link and type in hashtag reveal yes that's a link it's called an anchor link now clicking on this button will reveal the hidden content make sure to add a button text so that the button actually appears then go to the image and add an image now save and exit the visual builder now we have everything ready let's try it press the button 
and as you can see it reveals the image pressing the button again will hide the image voila it's done now we will show you how to do it for more hidden contents on the same page you can do it as much as you want on different pages but to do it on the same page you have to make some tweaks to the code to show you the second hidden content we need to add a second hidden content for that we will just duplicate this section and then change the content so we will delete this module and we will add a contact form module as a second example all right so all we have to do is add the number 2 follow me go to the main code in the code module here look at the css part and add the number 2 after the dot rv button do that here as well now go to the javascript part and do the same and then here we also have to change the reveal to reveal 2 so we will write reveal 2 and here as well then save the module you can always copy the modified codes in the blog post but it's better that you learn how to edit on your own in case you would want to add a third hidden section on the same page okay so now we need a few more steps go to advanced tab in the button settings here change the css class to rv button 2 then save changes now go to the advanced tab in content settings in our case the contact form but before doing that make sure that you have um added an email here so that uh, it actually delivers the email and also in the button you add click here or something so so here i have added subscribe to our newsletter thanks and subscribe in the button text so make sure you do all of those make sure to uh, make sure that the contact form is visible in the visual builder there you go it should be visible on the front end as well so make sure of that then go to the advanced tab and in the css id and classes since i haven't added a css id it shows a default so i'll go ahead and add the previous css id but uh, obviously since it's duplicated meaning this is the second content not the image so we have to add two here underscore two again this is something that you can copy from the blog post and then save changes last step go to the content tab in the button settings and change the url of the button here we will add reveal 2 like this save changes and it should be done so press save and then exit the visual builder well now let's test it and there you go it works the first one and the second one and it also scrolls down to the content which is amazing well i hope you like this video and if you did then why not give me the blue thumbs up and be part of the red button gang while you are at it ring the ding dong bell so i can catch you later in the next video bye bye